Wildcat Rescue is the world's largest accredited sanctuary. We are home to over 100 cats, ranging from the tiny sand cat up to the largest lions and tigers. With over 100 cats here at the sanctuary, we have a lot of enclosures to clean every single day. Here's how we do it. I arrive at 7 a.m. to do my daily checks. I look at the calendar and see how many volunteers are scheduled that day and what sections they can clean. The sanctuary is split into 10 different cleaning sections. Redshirt volunteers and interns clean the road, servals, and little back sections, which obviously house servals as well as bobcats, lynx, ocelots, jungle cats, caracals, and leopard cats. Yellow shirt volunteers clean cougars. And the green and navy shirt volunteers clean the larger cats, like our lions and tigers, leopards, and freckles the liger. So this is where the keepers start their day, and this is how you make a clean and bucket. We grab a bucket, which are actually old cat litter containers. Then we place a smaller container inside and add a small amount of bleach. This is then diluted with water. Then we grab a wire brush, a softer toilet brush, some poop picker uppers, aka barbecue tongs, and a poop bag. Then all we need is gloves and a scraper pole, and we're good to go. So now I know where all the volunteers are. I know they've all been trained in the sections at their shirt level. We all have radios in case of an emergency. Now all we have to do is clean over a hundred big cat enclosures. The first thing we do is walk the entire perimeter of the enclosure. When we're doing this, we locate the animal. Once we've observed the animal and had a chat, or not, we check the cage. Make sure no tree limbs have fallen overnight. In the larger open air enclosures, we check all the hot wires to make sure they are still working. Clear any brush that is in our way, take out any weeds or mushrooms that are in the enclosure, and basically run our eyes over the entire enclosure to make sure all is well. Then we get to the poop spotting. This could be very tricky, and we always have to remember that these are wild animals and can be extremely fast. The smaller species like to bury their poop, which makes it harder for us to find. The cougars bury their poop too, but you can safely find those piles. The tigers, lions, and leopards don't bury theirs, but you really have to be on your toes around these cats. Some cats hate particular cleaners, and they're always looking at you and working you out. Sometimes they want to play with the scraper. If this is the case, we can shut them off into the other section of their enclosures, get their poop out, and then let them back in. There's also other hazards you have to watch out for. And then we get to the lockouts. This is where the cats are fed and where they can find fresh water any time of the day. And this is where the cats make even more mess. So as their name implies, we can close the door entry, locking the cats out, and then safely pick up all the food scraps and concentrate on what we're doing. We empty the water bowls, scrub, replace, and fill. Then use the wire brush to really scrub the food slab and thoroughly rinse everything off. Then we can open the door back up so the cats have access to their lovely clean lockouts. When all the sections have been cleaned, then the volunteers double check each other. This way we have a fresh set of eyes looking at the cats, their enclosures, lockouts, and of course checking for poop that may have been deposited later or missed. Then when we're done with all the cleaning, we log our observations online. Like if there was any food left over, if we noticed anything wrong with the cats, or if the enclosures need any maintenance, so the operations manager is away. Then we can take a well-deserved break. You can help us change the way people treat big cats by texting the word TIGER to 20222.